Good morning. So I can't be in class today. Um, so in lieu of presenting in person, I'm presenting via video. So we'll see how this goes. Um, my portion of the Naked Mole Rat uh, presentation is to talk about why they are such a success successfully aging species. Naked Mole Rats have some particular features um, that humans do not in, in terms of uh, making them particularly successfully aging, and I'll talk about those. So the first part of why they're such, uh, considered such a successfully aging species is that they experience no age-related fertility decline. As you've heard Bethany talk about, there's one breeding female and one to three breeding males. And that's, you know, so in the colony at any given time, that's who's able to, to reproduce. However, so over the entire, um, over their entire lives, for the most part, the non-breeding individuals are able to transition to breeding females or breeding males. Second point of why naked mole rats are a successfully aging species is they experience no age-related increase in mortality. So think about that for a second. They don't experience the, uh, as you get older, you're more likely to die. It's like the Medawar Tumblr's flat age-specific mortality curve where any given tumbler has just as likely a chance for, for death as no matter how old they are. Um, so, in, and in fact, studies have shown that uh, most deaths occur in uh, a naked mole rat colony, most deaths occur in, f of newborns or juveniles due to maternal neglect. So they, the juveniles and newborns don't die from disease uh, so much, but just from being neglected. So aside from that sort of spike in the mortality, um, adult deaths in the colony occur uh, with similar frequency across all age cohorts. So. You, if you're a naked mole rat who's two years old, or ten years old, or fifteen, or twenty, or twenty-five, your your risk for death is pretty much the same, no matter what age you are, which is incredibly unusual relative to mammals, other mammals we study. Um, in fact, th this study also says that the predominant cause of death of naked mole rats is unknown. So there's lots of things to show that they, the older ones do get some osteoarthritis or some breakdown of skeletal muscles, um, but not in a way that impacts their activities in the colony um, or reprodu reproductive, you know, reproductive function or anything like that. So um, at this time, aside from the juveniles and the newborns, they don't know what the predominant cause of death is. So more studies to be done, I guess. Two other points that I'm going to focus on now in, in more depth of why naked mole rats are a successfully aging species includes the fact that they don't experience senescence as we think about. Um, they don't experience the age-related decline in their physiology, their morphology, their brain function, and we'll talk about studies that have been done on that. And they seem incredibly resistant to cancer. They have been found to not get cancer, either induced um, by experiment or innate cancer. So. So to look at the specific factors that have been studied as to why naked mole rats seem to lack senescence um, throughout most of their lives up until the very end, um, the first three relate specifically to that to the oxidative stress notion, and I'll go through them kind of quickly. Um, naked mole rats seem to, to have some resistance in their brains to hypoxia, so at those, the lower oxygen levels they experience in their underground burrows um, doesn't negatively impact them. They have low thyroid hormone levels and low metabolic rates. And all of these are thought to decrease the oxidative stress that they may experience. But interestingly, there was one study that looked at the levels of oxidative damage uh, that are experienced by naked mole rats in, the, in different molecules compared to, mice, um, compared to mice specifically. And the study actually found that naked mole rats have poor antioxidant capacity and they show greater levels of accrued oxidative damage um, to those molecules relative to mice. So they concluded that lower levels of oxidative stress are not necessarily responsible for the longevity of naked mole rats. So another thing they looked at was the cognitive decline, and that naked mole rats appear to not experience cognitive decline the way other mammals do. Um, they found is that naked mole rats seem to 
not experience cognitive decline in ways that other mammals do across the most of their lifespan, and this may be due to this particular neurotropic factor. Um, Naked mole rats also have a different nucleotide sequence for the amyloid beta protein that is involved in Alzheimer's disease in humans, um, but that's still yet to be studied more. So the two that I wanted to focus on more um, in terms of senescence or lack of senescence factors is this notion of protein stability, where studies have been done that have shown that uh, naked mole rats have a superior structural stability, lack of oxidation and degradation, um, of some particular proteins relative to mice, and their finding is that there's a significant difference in the aging profiles between naked mole rats and mice, where there's a certain, uh, naked mole rats seem able, more, more able to maintain the stability of this, these proteins across their lifespans than mice are. Then moving on to the last point, protein translation ac accuracy. There's a study that just came out uh, this summer actually showing two things. One, that naked mole rats ribosomal RNA has a mutation that fragments it into two pieces. Um, but the way that it functions is the naked mole rats translation is much more accurate. So their protein, the proteins created are much more accurate than that which happens in mice. So the, the conclusion from that is that, so there's fewer mistakes, mistakes that are made in the creation of the proteins, and that makes naked mole rats less prone to the degenerative diseases that are caused by faulty proteins that accumulate in the cells. So very interesting study. And the last aspect of naked mole rat longevity that I'm going to talk about is cancer resistance. So some background on cancer, uh, it's caused in part when contact inhibition that normally occurs between cells to keep them from, uh, so the contact happens and then they stop proliferating, um, and when that contact inhibition is, is removed for whatever reason, uh, tumor cells can grow because the prolif proliferation just continues and, and doesn't stop. So naked mole rats were found to not get cancer, they didn't die of cancer, they weren't observed to, to, to get cancer at all. And when they tried to culture, when they cultured naked mole rat cells in the lab, they tried to induce tumors with tumor-causing proteins, but the naked mole rat cells would not uh, would not grow, um, or would not grow tumors. So one of the things that they discovered under further study was that they naked mole rat cells appear to have a, a hypersensitivity to contact inhibition. So even more than normal cells the naked mole rat cells are very far apart, they're sort of uh, claustrophobic, they, they call them, and one of the things that they've discovered um, that plays a role in this is there's a molecule called hyaluronin, and it's a polysaccharide that we all have, and it serves as this elastic liquid scaffolding between cells, and naked mole rats have been found to have hyaluronin that is six to ten times longer than both mice and humans. So the notion is that that's what gives the, the cells this hypersensitivity to uh, contact inhibition, it keeps the cells very far apart, and it makes them very flexible. So that's what they're, why their skins are so flexible and, and uh, kind of baggy. So what they did in the lab was engineered naked mole rat cells to be unable to produce this hyaluronin, and once that was lost, then they were able to induce tumor growth in those cells. So all that to say, there's a lot of very interesting aspects, cancer resistance, longevity, that are under study, continued study now. So that concludes my portion of our presentation, and now Ben is going to talk about uh, genome sequencing that has been done on the naked mole rat. Thanks.